Hello everybody, welcome to the Derek's Diary channel on YouTube and Zipcast. Uh, for those watching on YouTube, this channel will most likely, if not definitely, not be used by the end of this month and most likely closed and all videos to be placed within the Zipcast channel. On this video, I'm going to be going over WebBot, a couple of different articles, try to put them together, and uh, this all comes from halfpasthuman.com. There's some swearing in the first one, and maybe I might use it within my regular commentary, I don't know, but let's go over it. If you go to uh, Half Past Human and you look on the right-hand side for tabs, you'll see the articles. The first one is Your Last 26 Days of Life, which was posted on February the 6th. So, we got less than 26 days. Let's read it. On March the 2nd, 2012, the Zionist uh, Israeli Mozad and CIA agents, who are the stooges of the central bankers, will attack an American naval ship as they did with the USS Liberty. They will try to sink this ship with the huge loss of uh, American sailors. They will pretend to be Iranians to make you mad at Iran. They intend to provoke uh, officialdom in the U.S. and Russia and China into killing us all. Much of officialdom, Masons, Illuminati, Illuminati, Agents of Rome, Zionists are in the false flag attack. And they're... Fervent hope for war to end your life and the lives of over one billion other humans. Well, your relatives on the planet. So much of humanity on the planet has been made crazy by the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, and all the priests and potents and all the other assholes who put themselves on top of us all by lying and cheating and murder. They plan on yet another fucking great war to kill off as many of us that they can. If they succeed, the, the war is created. No more taxes will I pay ever to anyone. No more laws I will pay ever to anyone. No more, <laughs> no more taxes will I pay to everyone. No more of their laws will I obey. If I survive the smoking nuclear wasteland that will be the west coast of the U.S. of A. and most of Earth, and there are many of the foremost central bankers that, uh, and their masters alive, I will swear the remnant of my life to bringing them to justice. And I know what that means. Even if the psychopathic pedophilic fucktards do not. Okay, I can read that one. My message to them, all of the official them, is simple. You know fear, you live on fear of others, so now it's your turn. We know you now, your names are recorded, your lives are in our hands. Killing billions of us only convinces the rest that we have nothing left to lose. You taught us to fear you, now the fear is gone, only hate remains. Fear us now, or we come for you later. This was posted by Cliff Hyde. Okay, now I'm going to go to the next article in a little bit, but uh, it's interesting. Killing billions of us only convinces the rest that we have nothing left to lose. Now, what do you think Gerald Salente says about humans when they got nothing left to lose? Uh, the answer is they lose it. Next article, and this one is entitled, Mainstream Media Whores Burst Out Truth Attack. This was posted on February the 16th. Shh, it's coming. Just a few days away. Prepare your ears now. Get your mind ready. You'll never have heard such words from mainstream media ever before in your life, and it's going to start a flood of such huge proportions that the world will not be the same ever again in the future, and it will change more in each minute than in all minutes that have ever come before, and you will feel like you just got to have a second to catch your breath, and you shouldn't have gone to work or bed or fed someone or something, but you are paralyzed with the novelty rush pouring out of the pent-up frustrations of decades of pressurized mainstream media whoredom as all hell breaks loose 
with a single word, with a single mind, will not be able to contain. No, no, not that one. Wait for it. Days and temporal markers falling rapidly now and precursor events spreading rippling influences outward. You'll hear it, and then you'll know it. All prior to the break out of speculation afterward, all will be lost in the torrents, hint, hint, of the breaking dam. Which is why I thought to just get a few days advance notice for naps and pies. We will need all the energy we have, us old farts, to just keep up with the trailing edge, which begins to race away from us by March 19th with release language compounding beyond our ability to chase. The end. Okay. Now, I kind of wonder if these two might be tied hand in hand. And that this happens on March the 2nd, the ship goes down, and then maybe, just maybe, the mainstream media talks about this being an inside job. Like days after it, maybe. Maybe the day after, two days after, I don't know. But could these go hand in hand? Because if they even reference back to previous events, events for all I know, only once in the history of mankind, has an inside job ever been told that, yeah, we screwed up, we did it. And even then, it was hardly even stated. That was the Gulf of Tonkin, where years later, they admitted it was a mistake. That's all they said, it was a mistake. But you throw in 911, the panic of 1907, Pearl Harbor, the Titanic, the Luciferian, it's, it's all the same. It's... All inside jobs. Now, would that be part of it? Do you know, even call me conspiracy theorist? You know, there's a name conspiracy theorist. I, I'd rather use those, a term of independent researchers, maybe. And maybe it's just something else. Maybe they actually explain how fiat currency is created to the masses. Could you imagine billions and billions of people all finding out at one large time that our currency is backed by nothing guaranteed to cause debt and all this type of stuff? Wow! I mean, that would totally change everything! <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, you know, I expect them to, the mainstream media, the elites, if you will, to at some point have to fess up, or like I said, the mainstream media to actually say, hey, this is what's going on. But I'd be extremely surprised if it did happen in March. Now, of course, if you would ask me three years ago, it happened then, well, really that long? Because... Quite frankly, I'm surprised little has changed over the last three years. Or I expected more to change and I didn't even think that we would see gas prices under $7 a gallon at this point, looking back three years ago. But at some point, the truth has to spread out. It's, to me, just a guarantee. So I thought you should, you should know. And thank you for uh, watching. Take care.